Peter. It's it's Grace and Alan, Aaron here to see you. It's lovely and warm in here. The weather's been terrible since we got back. I saw the bulbs that you planted in your front garden, Peter. Um, they've been bitten by the frost. Uh, we just got back from our honeymoon. I'm sure you remember. Although, you and I got pretty bladdered at the wedding. <laughs> I'm so tanned, it's great. Uh, yeah, uh, Malta was the best. Um, the weather was fantastic. Um, I got some good photos of the town of Valenta. I could show them to you. You know, once, once you're out of here. Once you're out of the, uh, the bandages. Do you want some tea? I'm going to go and get some tea. Peter. I have no idea how much it hurts me to see you like this. What are you doing in the kitchen to get burnt like that? I should have been there. The honeymoon was great. Great food. Free champagne everything a girl could ask for. I was his usual self for the two weeks. But I just... I just felt as though there was something missing. Don't get me wrong. Me and Aaron got on great. Like we always do when we're all together. <laughs> he was his usual fun self. Cracking jokes with the locals. But just felt, I suppose, I felt like there was something missing. Well, someone missing. Peter, I wanted to come home so I can talk to you and say something to you that I wanted to say for ages. Don't get me wrong, I love Aaron for the fun guy that he is, but truthfully, I was lonely, lonely for your company. I suppose I've known all along that it was you. Can you understand that? I don't want to tell you like this. But I just had to let you know. I always wanted to settle down with you. But I couldn't wait any longer for you to ask me. Why didn't you ask me? We do get on, don't we? Sugar. Yeah. No sugar. You know that I always have sugar in my tea. I'm going for a cigarette. Married life, eh? We're always together. It's a bit too much, to be honest, but... Happy? Yes. Well... Almost. Don't get me wrong, the, uh, the honeymoon was great. Uh, the food, drinks, uh, the weather, everything. 
I got a bit bored of uh, old women coming up to us all the time saying, you know, congratulations. You showed me how permanent this is all meant to be. You know, it took me ages to uh, ask Grace if she wanted to get a place with me. I was surprised when she said yes. <laughs> Uh, I guess that thought of me being in a house all by myself was a bit too much for me. Yeah, all that cleaning, eh? <laughs> I guess I'd better come clean to both her and you. The thing is, I'd rather be spending time with you. We always got along, haven't we? Three of us. We never stopped laughing, did we? Brilliant days. And you and I. You and I had some of the greatest conversations. And that's what I missed on the honeymoon. I was lonely. I was hungry for your way of looking at things. I, uh. I missed you. You know, I couldn't face uh, asking you whether you'd fancy buying a place with me. Because who knows, you, you might not have wanted to. And I know you would have been concerned about what other people might think. And I was worried you might say no to me. I don't think I could have handled that, Peter. Do you understand what I'm saying? Freezing out there. Oh, yeah, take me back to Mama. <laughs> Peter, we're gonna have a nice long catch up when you wake up from your sleep. Yeah. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to leave. It's time for Mary's medication. Mary, this is. Peter Brown. So this is Peter. No, Peter Brown's next door. <laughs>